Hello everyone, this is Godzi, and as the title says, we're playing Boba, a game where we control a civilization. Okay, unlocks a grant plot decree, okay. Uh, we have enough people for that, so pay four people for plus 0.1 grain per second. Oh. Uh, sure, yeah, no, you know what, that's fine. Doubles the rate of every farm's grain production. We don't have enough for any of this. Unlocks a build temple, trade shipment, okay. Okay, so we can only trade four people every so often. Okay, so this, yeah, we're, we're kind of falling behind on the grain there because we can't keep uh, sacrificing people or paying people. Whoops, not sacrificing. That'd be horrible. And we're not multiple horrible. Uh... Wow, he started pretty young as the uh, ruler, huh? Come on. But I guess this is just a... Uh... There's nothing really to click. It's not like a cookie clicker type of thing, but at least we're doubling our output for grain. Uh, now we can build a bunch. Increases maximum grain storage. That actually sounds pretty good. We need maximum people storage. That sounds horrible. Again, this is a clicking game, and everything makes no sense. Okay, I guess now let's go with uh, trade shipment. Once we can buy trade shipment. Never mind. Um... It kind of looks calm and peaceful, if we're being completely honest. Okay, there we go. Oh, so now we pay 20 grain for plus 20 money. Um, Let's keep getting more. I really do want our grain to be increasing faster than it currently is. Um, but we'll, get, we'll start getting money, too. Oh, we just get money. Okay. Uh, increases maximum people storage. Yeah, there we go. I exactly how I said it. Um... Increases people by 0.5 per year. Actually, you know what? We're going to take that too. An increase in our, the people we have. And then maybe we might get a temple. It uh, Now we can get a temple. Pay six people for plus 0.1 faith. Okay, there's going to be a lot, I'm assuming. Um, and if anything, I feel like we need to increase the maximum money storage, increase the money by... Oh, we should actually get this. But we need 60 money, so let's... Uh, we got 60 money yet? No. Okay. We still don't have 60 money because we need um the treasury. Nice. You gotta love it. Um, let's see. Commandments increases uh faith. Okay, it doesn't look like faith is really doing anything for us right now, so we're gonna put that on the back burner. But we do need to get this minting. So we're just gonna kinda get minting now we can have uh actual natural money growth which is good um too bad we can't make money just yet increases people by 0.5 per year yeah missionaries let's make some missionaries can, can we i want to make some missionaries please all right i guess we're not making missionaries yet um in that case i don't know um Let's go... No, I, I do really want to get missionaries first. So, there we go. Unlocks the human sacrifice. Oh. Oh. Okay. Um, Human sacrificing. Uh, Sure. That doesn't sound horrible or anything at all. We're not getting human sacrificing just yet. Let's let's go for... um, Building schools. Let's, let's build some... Come on, 50 grain, 50 grain, 50 grain, 50 grain. Building schools. So, uh, pay 12 people for wisdom, yeah. We're gonna leave human sacrifice there for a bit, and we're gonna get monotheism. Uh, oh, increases force by 0.2 per second. We can start making military training, okay. Uh, let's make some money. Yeah, let's try and buy everything with money. So, we need 40 money. Now we can buy storerooms, so let, let's buy some more storerooms. Uh, banking, don't really care about that right now. Ooh, tenements increases maximum people storage. Yeah, let's go ahead and spend all our grain for that. All right, sweet. Now we, we can have 60 people. If only we could increase the people per second faster. And we'll just... Oh, pay 12 people. Okay, so can we increase maximum people storage, increase maximum money storage? Um... Maximum people storage would help us out, so we kind of need to get some more wisdom. Okay, let's get human sacrifice. What? 
begin harvesting. Oh, pay 10 people for plus 30 faith. Oh, begin harvesting what? Uh, let's get commandments to increase our maximum faith storage since we actually do have a decent... Um, huh. Mega churches. Nice. Banking increases maximum money storage, increases maximum people storage. Oh, urban planning. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, human sacrifice. We're just going to leave that for right now. I don't think we actually need it. Unlocks the recruitment. Recruit soldiers decree. Oh, we can have soldiers now. Cool. Pay 50 faith for 20 force. Um, I don't even think we've started making force yet. Yeah. Well, yeah. We, oh, we have to use human sacrifices to get... Okay. Okay, I guess that's... Um, We're going to need either military... Oh, they're both military training, so we're going to need one of them eventually. I wonder how many... <laughs> How many kings we've gone through? What? Um, cool. Military training. Yay. It's really slow. But on the bright side, we're, are, we need more people. Whoops. Kind of going through people there. Um, let's get some more military training. Uh, let's get some more military training? What are we missing? Oh, we need 50 people. Yeah. Okay. Um... Domesticated crops increases grain. Uh, this is way late. We really don't need this, but we, we have so much wisdom, I guess, so. Because point two didn't do anything for our grain. <laughs> oh, it's great. Um, You know what? Let's go for opulence. We need more money. Yeah, we need uh, all the money. Opulence. What does Jubilee pay 10 money for the next decree to happen a second time for free? Oh, so we pay 10 money and whatever we use next happens twice. So we should only spend 20 and get, yeah, actually that's not an infinite money glitch, but every 30 seconds we get twice, twice the money. Sure. Slavery. That's, uh, yeah, I guess we're building a nation, but damn. Okay. Um, we'll get some more military training. So force increases naturally better. Increases maximum force storage. Sounds good. I don't know what harvest is, so we're going to hold off on that. But we can increase our... Oh, wait. Uh, we need force. We need money. And we need people. So let's just get money for right now. All right. And then force, I guess technically we could pay. We don't have enough faith for force. Okay. But if we spent some people, we could get some more force. Um, We're almost there, though. Yeah, let's do that. Beautiful. Now, our numbers are kind of low. Yeah, some of the later things like money, uh, wisdoms. How did we get so much wisdom? Well, I, I see how, but we have we don't have that much force either. So I guess we're going to save up for banking. Oh, we need a lot of money. Okay. Yeah, we're just going to... Don't mind me while I just skip to getting a ton of money. Okay. So now we can have more money. <laughs> nice. Uh, we could get mega churches, sure, I guess. Just, uh, it, you know, this, it, I'm just gonna be clicking trade shipment for a bit here. And mega churches. Nice. Beautiful. Oh, let's get slavery, I guess. Uh, pay 20 money for, I don't, I don't need that. I, we're ma barely making money as it is. So I guess the only thing now we really need is, is force. Um, and a bit of everything in the past. So yeah, I guess we just need force. Lots of force. Um, still a little bit more force. And I guess I'll max out money while I'm at it. Because our grain is just insane at this point. Yeah, it feels really nice just increasing these numbers a ton. Okay, so begin harvesting. Oh. Export your... Why do I feel like this is a, um, do I just keep doing the same thing over and over? Why? Yeah. Why do I feel like this is a euphemism for boba as in like boba tea? Uh, I guess the Nile is te technically complete and we don't, we can just leave this to its own devices. Um, and then we just do the exact same thing over and over and it never ends i wonder what happens once we harvest 10 of these though 
on the bright side, this is a good uh, <laughs> idle game. So I'm just going to keep flipping between grant plots until we can uh, get the cycle going. And hopefully we can harvest... Uh, I'm assume I'm going to assume this is boba. This is boba tea we're making, isn't it? We're like ants on a small planet that makes boba tea for giants. Yeah, I forgot how slow these... Uh, how, how, I feel like the Nile went by so fast and we're just maxing everything out. You know, let's max out... Um, yeah, let's just max this out while we're at it. Oh, I could have used the uh, pay 10 money. Oh, we haven't maxed out money either. So let's just... I, I don't know why at this point I'd want to max out anything else that isn't other planets, but, you know. Doubles the rate of every... Yeah, rate of every farm. Nice. Um, increases maximum rice, trade shipment. Yeah, it's basically the exact same thing. Is, is this just supposed to show us that human nature is the same? Export your boba. Oh, so many little planets kept showing up after I exported my boba. It's a cup of boba. It's a it's boba tea. This is legitimately boba tea. That that's the game. Okay, I guess we beat it. Um, it didn't show it because it kept opening new screens. But basically, what happened was after you exported your boba, it would it started opening screens for more and more planets. And, uh, yeah, I don't know what to expect. I didn't know what to expect, <laughs> but I guess I was right. Um, wow. Good idle game. Honestly, I would play an idle game like this. If it would have actually let me pick the different planets and duel, I would have just sat here for hours and just played it. So good job on the developer. <laughs> so with that all being said, as always, this is Godzi. <laughs> Thanks for watching. All right, so fun fact, it actually turned out that it did make those windows. I just couldn't go back to the original civilization, but we're playing in another one. And I guess we can already harvest uh, more boba. But the neat thing is I'll switch over to the other window. Um, once you start harvesting the boba, it actually... It, it appears here. Yeah, we can send it back. And once I hit this, it'll populate the universe even more it yeah this was brilliant i didn't show the other two because they by the time i saw them it already gave me all the resources i needed but yeah we made a universal boba tea <laughs> uh, <fuck yeah. laughs> i don't know what this game was but yeah um by the time i had already seen the other two windows it had already maxed out the resources i needed to harvest the boba so I just showed the end there because I just clicked through them and boom, we made a beautiful boba tea, which, um, you know, I could go for some now. So this time, actually, <laughs> as always, this is Godzi. Thanks for watching.